name is Nina Barty. I'm a graduate student here at Penn State in the biology department, and I'm a member of the Center for Infectious Disease Dynamics. In Dr. Grunfeld's lab, we have, you know, someone who is part-time in the physics department and part-time with us. We have people who come from um, ecology backgrounds, biology backgrounds. Um, there's a lot of sort of variation in where people come from, but, um, you know, mathematics. Um, but we all, you know, we all sort of do fit together because we have an interdisciplinary approach to the way we solve problems. I feel like I've been pretty lucky to be in this, um, in this research group, and one of the main reasons is that, you know, we have a lot of freedom. I'm a grad student, but I've never really felt like um, there's a serious hierarchy within our research group or even really within SID. And so um, that's really been, um, I think, a boost for my productivity. So I work on measles in Africa, and we have a cheap vaccine that everyone here gets. So we don't get measles, but that's not the case in Africa. I got to attend a conference in Ethiopia last month, um, and you know it was part of a of a meningitis work group, and um, you know it was it was a really good experience for me to go and be able to meet people from the WHO and from you know, some other big meningitis organizations. Immediately after that, I actually got to go to Paris um, to visit Epicent, which is, which is part of Doctors Without Borders. Um, and so there's a woman that we work with there called Rebecca Gray, and she's really, she's this really dynamic individual, and she's very hard to pin down. And so, you know, that I got to go to Paris and meet with her in her office and really just work with her on you know, some of the, maybe the, the more public health applications of the research that I was doing, um, things that I'm currently working on. Things like that have been really valuable experiences for me and probably have made me a much better scientist and certainly make me more comfortable with trying to make decisions about what I'm going to do next. So I think that having that kind of freedom and having that kind of respect has made me less afraid to speak up in situations where you're you be technically the lowest person on the totem pole, but you have a good idea. I come in and I kick off my shoes and I get comfortable and I put on my noise canceling headphones and I just try and work through the day. So when I look ahead, when I look to my life in 10 years, um, <laughs> I honestly hope it's not that much different from what it is right now because I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if I see myself as a straight-up academic, and I don't know if I see myself as sort of a straight-up public health warrior, but I do think that there's a place for me in between, um, and ideally, that's where I'd be.